Okay, so ASL qualifiers were this weekend, in case you didn't know. Okay, uh, it, it they all got played through. There were like a lot of very good players that qualified, and then we actually had quite a few upsets as well. Uh, it's really surprising the race that has the most players in it. And let's take a look at that. <laughs> so, four Protoss, five Terran, three Zerg on day one. So when you look at this list, a lot of it looks perfect. Best Bisu Mini Snow. You're like, absolutely. Action Soma Zero, aka Queen. Absolutely. These are like amazing sets of players that qualified. And then you look in the middle and you're like, let's start at the bottom. Sharp, Light, JYJ. Absolutely. Like those three should be in every ASL. And then you get Bishop and Ample. Bishop and Ample. Like I was actually asked uh, last week, I think, if I thought Ample would make it through. Because a lot of people... I've been casting a lot of Ample games lately because he he's one of my favorite Terrans. Like, I really enjoy watching Ample games and casting Ample games, but I really didn't think he'd make it in because he's kind of, uh, like, his style is a little bit too aggro. Like, he, he shoots himself in the foot sometimes. Uh, but he ended up making it. So I want to take a look at uh, the actual brackets for these, right? So here's Action Over Mind, taking a look at it. It looks like Stork got... Wow, Stork took out Ride Sky 2-0. That's pretty impressive. Ride Sky is one of those guys right on the edge uh, that's going to get in soon, I think. Mind has been playing really well lately. And as you can see, took down Flata. Uh, wow, Flata's back to Protoss? That's crazy. He was Protoss, then he switched to Terran. Now he switched back to Protoss. That's that's actually... This is like my new favorite guy to, to follow here. <laughs> he can't decide his race. Uh, anyways... Uh, yeah, so action over mind, that makes sense. Uh, action actually be ruin as well. Kala, I feel like Kala is like stuck right now. I, it doesn't feel like Kala is getting closer. Oh, but he did two on deer, but that's PVP. Uh, yeah, anyways, it, it, very clear. Action should always go through. Okay, then we have Sharp uh, over Mong. He also took out Haya Fresh. Fresh isn't that good, of course. Uh. Free loss to Mong down there. Mihu one to two against purpose. Oof. Oof. A lot of people have their uh non-Korean hopes upon Mihu, but was not able to do much there. Uh but yeah, Sharp making in makes a lot of sense. That's good. Like we want to see Sharp back. He didn't make it last season, which is a huge upset. He's actually one of the players with like the most. He has over hundred ASL games played. Because he just he nor he makes it in like every season just about, but he didn't make last season. He was very, very sad about that. Uh, but he, he's such a great player. I'm super happy to have him back. And, uh, it's nice that he took out Mong. Like, Mong, actually, I can't recall if Mong makes in on day two. But, uh, Sharp is very, very good at TVT. So this bracket was actually really good for him, right? It's like the people that are not highlighted here, that we don't even know their race of, like, they are very easy. Uh, and then you get people like this that is, like, a mid-level player. Like, obviously, he's going to crush someone that's that level. Then he gets Haya and Mong, two ones on both. So... Uh, good to see Sharp get a bracket that's not too hard for him to get through. All right. Then we had... Ooh. Oh, look at this. Scan goes up against Sock. Scan gets eliminated on TVT like every season. It's getting kind of insane. He always makes it around a four of finals. Ugh. So painful. Uh, spoiler alert. Yeah, Scan does not make it in this season once again. Very, very sad. Uh, but JYJ over Sock in that finals. Two to one. Very tightly contested, it looks like, right? Because Sock 2-1 Scan and then... JYJ 2-1 Sock. Uh, yeah, but Sock and JYJ are both good uh, quality ASL players. And we had Best just getting in. Uh, Baby, I'm assuming this is TY. Uh, that was his ID in Brood War because he was like the youngest player ever drafted at the time. But look at this fucking run. So Go Rush is not in... As far as I know, Go Rush is not in super good shape. He's like one of the very older pros. And I wasn't even aware he was going to play this season. Because he's just not considered, like, a top-level pro anymore. He was, like, a legendary Zerg, like, you know, 20-something years ago. <laughs> like, no, right around 20 years ago. Uh, <laughs> maybe it was 19 years ago. But, yeah, he was he was so fantastic. So it's cool to see him playing. But TY beats him. Then TY beats Modesty. Modesty's quite good. He's quite a good Zerg. Then he beats Zealot, who is the most aggressive pro gamer in the world. That's pretty impressive. And Zot beat Saxory. This is a stacked-ass bracket. Okay, also, Fengji is no joke. He's actually a very good Chinese player, but, I mean, you're going up against best. What do you want? And Hani is actually 
uh, one of my favorite new Terran players. He's very, very strong. Uh, but yeah, if, to have TY take out Zealot, that is very, very impressive. And then lose one to two to best. That there is crazy because best right now has world-class PVT. So the fact that TY gets out of the military, is playing both StarCraft 1 and StarCraft 2 and goes 1-2 against best in the finals here, that's that's shocking. That's crazy. All right, Groupie, we have Jadong. Sag, he gets to the finals and loses to Bishop. Uh, Bishop against Absolute. Absolute's very good. Ooh, Absolute took a, out 815. Oh, Bishop took out 9-drone as well. Uh, nine drone is the guy <laughs> his strategy is like in his name he only goes muta all in literally every game <laughs> but he's one of the best mutalist microers in the world so that's not that's not an easy bracket but it, like he just carried through on his terran versus zerg looks like movie was in here as well movie was never going to get out of here with these zerg players uh he has he has, he has a good matchup against uh protoss and terran but very weak against zerg generally Sick to see Jadon get to the finals here, but falling to Bishop. So that's that's a little bit surprising, right? He, again, just his TVZ making it through. I wouldn't be surprised. So someone actually asked me, because this is a Terran-heavy season that we're going to be having, and someone's like, oh, do you think, like... Uh, what, 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 I forget who they, who they asked. Oh, yeah, do you think that the Terran players picked up on things that Royal did in the ASL? And is that why we have it Terran-heavy? And my, my theory, I haven't seen these yet... My theory is it's because of what Light has done lately, right? Because Light made the new Valkyrie build that everyone is having an insanely hard time with. Uh, it's The Valkyrie build is incredibly, incredibly strong. So I would not be surprised. These aggressive Zergs, because Absolute, he's not super aggressive, but he's pretty aggressive. 815 is the second most aggro pro gamer uh, to Zealot. 9 Drone is, I don't really consider a pro gamer yet. He is yet to make it into ASL, but... Uh, he's extremely aggro with mutas. So I think that Bishop probably... The, the reason he probably made it in is because of what Light has been putting forth lately. I can't say that for certain. I'm going to try to watch the VODs or, or cast the VOD if I can get the, the clean feed of it. But uh, definitely something to, to mention there. Okay, so then Light's bracket, it literally doesn't matter who's in this bracket because Flash wasn't playing. Light is favored against everybody. Uh, he is in unreal shape. Uh, Yerim 2 is, is good. Uh, Bale is, is pretty solid right now. Harangi. The thing is, none of these guys measure up to light. He should stomp everybody he goes up against. Uh, this bracket, Gamo, Calm. I haven't seen Calm do too much lately. Good to see him playing, though. And then Gamo loses. Gamo almost always qualifies on day one. So, uh, obviously, uh, Queen should qualify over him, and he does. All right, Mini wins this one over Yabsab. Dude, Yabsab's, Yabsab is, like, scary good right now. He is incredibly strong, but obviously Mini is Mini. Uh, it looks like Rush Goon playing from uh, from China as well. Xiao Shui, oh, nice. Uh, but not really beating anyone of note. Um, yeah, Icarus down here. Yabsab over Hyuk and over Shine. Damn, look at that. Yeah, Yabsab is incredibly good. I actually don't recall if he qualifies on day two, but we'll check that in just a second. All right, group I. We have Soma winning it all. DeWalt beat... Well, these are these are not, like, known players, so these could have been strong, could have been weak. We don't really know. It, wait a minute, what? Did Last actually play here? So if Last actually played... Now, this doesn't look right to me. But it says it's last. It might be someone with last's ID. But the thing is, last actually was the only player that was ever really approaching what Flash was doing there for a while. So I actually, I would like to know if he actually, if he actually played and lost a first round to someone who lost to Dewalt second round that we don't know who that is. Kind of weird. Anyways, Dewalt loses to Soma, 0-2. Looks like, oh, look at this. Leda over Motive. Wow. So recently, uh, Light has been coaching Leda. Leda has been having a hard time in Terran versus Protoss specifically. Uh, you know, he's he is much more of like a Terran versus Zerg guy. Like he's a Wraith guy. He's kind of cheesy, kind of aggressive. But he was having a hard time TVP. So yeah, it, Light did a lot of coaching with him to fix up his TVP quite a uh, quite a bit. And you can see that it really paid off because Motive is quite strong right now. Motive is one of the stronger guys that's like, okay, he might pop into ASL one of these up-and-coming seasons. So, very cool to see Leia to be able to make it to the finals here, but Soma is, like, on the short list of possible winners. 
Sad to see DeWalt go down, but like, I mean, what can you do here against Soma? Right over here, we have Snow taking down Beast, two to one. Looks like the bracket wasn't that hard. Yeah, oh, Beol. Haven't seen him in a while. Maybe he went to the military, I'm not sure. Uh, but Bjol was a good up-and-coming Terran for a little bit. He uh, won an ACS, like the first ACS tournament. But I haven't seen him since. But he lost this Monkey D. Nafi. I have no idea. I have no idea who these humans are. <laughs> but uh, Snow crushes through. Beast taking a game. Beast is super, super aggressive. It's not surprised to see him take a game off Snow, but would have been surprised to see him win. So here's one of the ones I did not think would occur. Okay, so Ample beat two guys we don't know and then beat Spire, who's one of the better up-and-coming Zergs. Okay, uh, he beat him 2-1. to one. Again, I'm betting that these Terrans that made it through, a lot of it was probably based off of what Light has shown us with the Valkyrie build lately. But he takes down Spire, which, honestly, if the Valkyrie build didn't exist, I would bet on Spire over Ample. I think that Spire is a little bit more solid in the matchup, but they're both kind of aggressive players. I don't... Again, I didn't see the match, uh, and I'll try to catch that before ASL actually starts. And then Ample 2-1 over Shuttle. This is this is a reasonable result. I think Shuttle is uh, a, is better than Ample overall, but Ample's best matchup by far is his TVP, uh, and he has a lot of builds in it that no one ever practices against. He has some wild, wild builds uh, that catch Protosses at funny times. And the thing about Shuttle is, I think Shuttle is actually one of the stronger Protosses, and he's one of my favorite Protosses. But he attacks really stupidly. Like, he can't help himself when he maxes out and stuff. And, like, he gets anxious to break things. So, like, I could see that he, when he lost this, it might have been Amp with some really wonky, weird contain and Shuttle tried to break out too quickly. But that's that's an upset, I would say, still. Even though it's Ample's best matchup. But not as not a huge upset. Group L, we have Bar uh, Bisu over Barracks. Brock is back! No! <laughs> this is my least favorite pro gamer of all time. <laughs> the Rock. Uh, Rock, like, all he would do is make, like, a bunch of Dragoons run them into mines and then make uh, carriers. Literally every PVT ever. And he won so many PVTs. He'd lose his entire army, like, three times. And then just, he had carriers and he would win. Uh, I just, I hated watching him so much. It just, it made my skin crawl. Uh, <laughs> but I'm glad that he's back. I want everyone back, man, honestly. Uh, but Bisu over Notice, Bisu over Rock, Bisu over Barracks. That's that's a big win. Dude, Barracks had a hard bracket. Look at this. Look at this. HM, who's extremely good right now. Uh, he's been up and coming for years. Hero, that's YSC, right? He, YSC has been in lots of... Uh, Lots of ASLs. He didn't make it last season, which was kind of an upset because he is one of the better Protoss out there right now. But Barracks to 2 0 him. He, Barracks has also been getting a lot of uh, coaching from Light as well, just to throw it out there. Uh, but then loses to Bisu. So Bisu in top form, man, because YSC is is no no easy customer. So that's a that's a strong win. That's a tough that's a tough bracket right there, Group L. That's a very tough bracket. So that's day one. Let's take a look at day two. All right, day two. Ruin, Shuttle, Stork. So Shuttle still did make it through. Hyun, Jadong. Jadong makes it through. Big, big deal there. Shine still makes it through. Saxory makes it through as well. That's good. That's good. I love seeing these three. Hyun, I mean, that's great to see him. He plays a lot right now. Uh, and has been for a while. Barracks, Haya, Mind, Mong, Sock. So Barracks is almost always in. So that's kind of normal. Uh, Mong and Sock are almost always in, right? So that's kind of rounds out, right? We talked about day one where it's like, okay, these three, 100%. And then day two, like these two and this one are normally in ASL. Like that's normally our Terran roster plus Rush Royal, right? That's like, that's the like eight-ish Terrans that normally always make it. Uh, and then we have adding into that Haya and Mind. So that's kind of impressive because... Haya tries every single time. And he hasn't real he's he was in ASL like season one and two or something like that, I wanna say. Haven't seen him in a while. Mind has been playing a lot lately. Like I've caught him on stream quite often. And he's looking really good again, which is great. Because he is historically one of my favorite Terran players ever. A very brainy Terran player, known as the Scholar Terran. Great to see. 
Uh, and also, just a little note over here, Ruin uh, has been one of my picks for the best new modern Protoss in the, out there for, for a while now. For like a year and a half or so. I think he's... I think Ruin's absolutely fantastic. Okay, let's go down and take a look at the brackets. Okay, Group M. Sock took that down. That was an incredibly easy bracket. Only Harangi was in it, but he lost to some... Kim Sung Min? I, I'm not sure who that is. Uh, but that looks like a pretty easy bracket overall. Sock takes that down. Okay. Game O loses to Yerim 2. Okay, Yerim 2 is qualified before for ASL, for people who don't know, but he like didn't show up. It was like a really weird, really weird thing. So he's like a very good player, but maybe a little bit flaky or something. Uh, Hyun, look at that. Go Rush. Well, he didn't really beat anyone. He beat this Chinese player and then went up against Hyun and CVZ. I hope Gorash is in good shape. That'd be great. Uh, but, okay, a ZVZ bracket that Hyun wins. Nothing too, too interesting. So, Shuttle. Oh, this is a funny bracket. <laughs> C, who now is, for those of you who don't know, like, C was one of the best Pro League players ever. One of the strongest Terrans for years and years in StarCraft 1, but never had uh, solo league success. He did end up making a finals against Flash early on in ASL history. But since that finals, he blew up as a, more of a variety streamer. And is one of the bigger streamers in Korea. Like, he is... He is killing it. He is killing it. So, to see him actually in good shape and try, I love to see it. And he took down 815, who... Uh, 815 has been in ASL multiple times. He is super, super, super aggressive. I'm sure that C is aware of that. And he was able to take him out, but then got crushed by Shuttle. So, that's not, like, a big surprise. And this would be the type of player that C might be. C was always amazingly good at, like, TVZ macro and stuff. That was one of his fortes. So, you know, if you can kind of block the cheeses of 815. Yeah, uh, but it seems like this wasn't too hard. Prime is actually really good. They, I see that he's not highlighted here, but Prime is a very good Terran player. Uh, and you can see he actually took one game there. Uh, wow. Yeah, I'm surprised Liquipedia doesn't know who Prime is. Anyways, moving on. So Zealot doesn't make it into, uh, into ASL. Uh, unfortunate for him. He's kind of like a fun person like i think him or 815 adds something to the tournament because they're so crazy aggressive but you can see he took out a uh, free on the way kind of sad to not see free either i like free <laughs> he's he, he can be a funny character uh but ruin takes him down and it looks like ruin took down dewalt 2-0 first round so dewalt unfortunately not able to really do too too much uh and then just runs through took down hyuk nice two to one and then two to ozella dude ruin's really good Ruin is really, 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 really good. I love seeing him actually go through this bracket and kill a couple really strong, aggressive Zergs. Uh, because that's filling out his play. Because I already know that his PVT is very strong. Uh, yeah, this is someone to really look out for. Like, I, I've been kind of talking about him lightly for the last three, four seasons. But yeah, he is someone to look out for. All right, Haya over TY. Oh my god! It looks like TY's bracket again, maybe not super hard. Tim Carrier? I don't think he actually plays. Is that actually him? I don't... I don't think so. I don't think he was actually ever good at StarCraft, but... Like, it, Toss Girl is pretty good right now. I... I, I don't know. <laughs> he was good in 1998, he says. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I, I would be surprised if this was actually him. I'm going to I'm gonna message someone at Afrika TV and find out if he actually played, because that would be that would be sick. Mad respect, because someone who calls themselves Kim Carrier did take out Toss Girl, and she's quite good. Uh, okay, so anyways, it looks like it was a pretty... Like, it's cool to see TY go so far twice. Uh, and actually, I mean, he took a map off Haya. That's good. Damn. That's that's impressive. And Haya's bracket, not too, too hard. I mean, Bale is okay, but yeah, day two, definitely not as hard as day one, you can see. Okay, look in here. Shine 2-0 to o scan. Look at this. Scan took down Absolute. Absolute is a very solid Zerg, 2-0. to 2-0 to zero movie. Movie has very good PVT. And then loses to Shine, who... Shine is in very good shape right now. Uh, if you guys recall, I believe it was last season, he was, like, smashing face. He was using, like, three hatch builds, and everyone else is still using two hatch builds like idiots. Uh, <laughs> but Shine is... 
Shine is looking real good at the moment. And look down here. Oh my god, Mihu is in this bracket as well. So Mihu took down Calm. Two to one. And then one to two against Paralyze. Paralyze is good. Paralyze is playing a lot right now. Old SK Protoss, for, for people who don't recall Paralyze. He's the Afrotoss. Uh, he played StarCraft II and GSL for a couple seasons as well, but went back to Brood War. Uh, but that's that's kind of a stacked bracket. That's a tough, tough bracket. And Shine takes it down 2-1 over Paralyzed in the finals. Me who haven't actually... I, I would definitely say that this is the best run of a non-Korean player this season. So congrats to Mihu on that. Fantastic. That's cool. That's That's... Like, this is promising, man. This makes me excited. Maybe maybe in three or four years, we're going to see me who make it in. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. All right, next group. Mong 2-0 over Beast. That's got to that's gotta sting. Uh, Byungsu's in here. Yabsab, once again. Yabsab losing to Beast this time. Beel's over here. That's a, that's a pretty stacked group for day two. But it looks like Mong didn't have too much trouble. Yeah, Byungsu is also uh, known as Art User, for those of you who don't know. I, I, if my memory is giving it to me correctly, he was on Samsung? Pro Zerg? Uh, he's, he's, he's quite a good Zerg. So, Mong uh, pretty strongly making it through. And that is historically been his weak matchup, too, by the way. Okay, let's take a look at this group. This is a pretty stacked group as well. Soben's having a little bit of a run. He's, he's just like an up-and-coming Protoss. Uh... 2-0 Spire, not bad. Leda, once again, showing the, the beat down with his TVP, but loses to Stork. Stork took out Killer? 2-1? to one. That's impressive. That's impressive. If you showed me this bracket on paper, I would I would say that I would think Killer would win. But I would also say, like, maybe if Leda can make the finals, Leda could beat him. Maybe. Like, But I would still favor Killer. But for Stork to go 2-1 there... That's really good. And you 2 on Hani as well. I was talking about Hani earlier. This is one of my favorite new Terran players. Damn, poor killer. That's tough. That's tough. But Stork being back in is amazing. That means we have Stork, Jadong, and Bisu all in ASL this season. Oh my god. That's fucking awesome. That is amazing. Alright, next group. Mind out in the finals. PCS. Yeah, he's pretty good. Ride Sky falling once again. Y this is aka YSC, uh, for those of you who don't recall. Very strong Protoss, but Mind. Yeah, Mind is playing well. That's really exciting. Man, we have so many old champions that are in it this season. This is fantastic. Then the Jadong group. Jadong over Rock. You can't build carriers against Zerg Rock. Uh, Jadong over Motive in the finals. Oh, Nine Drone. <laughs> All right. And we had Barracks over Alone and HM. Yeah, nothing nothing too big here. Barracks is someone you really do expect to make in. And Saxry over Deer. Deer has been doing quite well. He's been doing well in all the, the minor leagues and stuff. Took down Icarus in there. Icarus is a pretty strong up-and-coming Terran, but not as much potential as some of the other guys I was talking about. Piano over Modesty. Piano's pretty brainy and pretty cheesy. Saxry 2 owes him. Okay, so that... That's all of the qualifiers for day one and day two. So let's take a look at the overall players. Okay, so we have the four seeds, obviously, from last season, right? Royal Rush, Hero Sulky. So that gives us seven Protoss, 12 Terran, and nine Zerg. Uh, so just, just to quell whatever you're thinking right now, Terran is still the hardest race. It's just Light came up with some good builds at perfectly the exact right time to get these guys in. Uh, so it's basically this guy's fault, okay? He could have been probably the only Terran. It probably could have been, like, I don't know, like, 25 Zergs, 7 Protoss, and 1 Terran. But Light decided to help his bros out. And, you know, that's... There you have it. Uh, but overall, looking at this, right? I think, uh, if you look, you want to look at, or, uh, rather talk about favorites for the season... I'm liking Snow right now. Snow is looking great in every matchup. I'm liking Light always. Uh, Royal is still super duper top tier. Uh, and then over on this side, like almost every Zerg player can win. <laughs> uh, Queen can win. Soma can win. Sulky can win. Hero can win. That's it. Okay, so I think there are four Zerg players that can win. 
two Terran players that can win. Snow can win. And that's it. That is that is my pre-prediction, okay? So I have seven people that I'm saying have potential to actually win. No, Rush can't win. No, I don't think so. I love Rush, too. He's one of my favorite players. But uh, no, these are the players that I think can actually take it home. Uh, this is going to be a great season. Though. It, what, I think the most exciting thing, Stork, Isu, and then, where is he? There is Jadong, right? And then we have other old-time champions. Mind? So sick. Well, I guess that's actually it. But <laughs> Still. Still. Uh, amazing. So this is going to be a great season of ASL.